Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a video I'm doing as a follow-up to my previous where I did the loaded mashed potatoes. This one's gonna be a chicken and rice. It uses the same one pot method, so it's gonna have all of the same benefits as the one before. For instance, it's super quick, cheap, simple, and all the ingredients are really easy to find. Like I said in the last video, I don't just use this for backpacking overnight, it's also for hiking, camping, and I, this one I do make at home a lot just because it's really delicious. For this one specifically, I used canned chicken, boxed rice aroni, mixed vegetables, bouillon cubes, and you could really do your choice of spices and herbs. Alright, so enough talk, I'm gonna head out on the trail and I'm gonna make this for you guys. Alright, so we're back out on the trail again, and I'm going to be showing you the chicken and rice. It's the one pot, like I said before. I'm using the same one that I used last time for the loaded mashed potatoes. I like the jet boil just because it's really easy to boil water, and it works super fast. In total, this recipe will probably take around 15 minutes, but that's okay because at the end, you're going to get a great, delicious meal. So, stay tuned. Alright, so the first step in this is going to be to add a bit of water to your pot. I've just gone about halfway. Just like the loaded mashed potatoes, there really is not an exact science to this. The only difference with this one is we're going to add our rice to it first. Do about a quarter rice and then three quarters water. That's about how much I've got. All right, so now what I'm going to do is fire up the jet boil and let this boil for about, say, 10 minutes, and we're going to check on it. All right, so we're about halfway through, and I've added the chicken bouillon cube. It's just going to add a little bit more chicken flavor to this and make it a lot more delicious. A little tip with the jet boil is it really likes to boil over on you because it just it shoots a lot of power. So what I've done is I've just kind of detached the bottom part right here and so I could just lift it off really easy if it starts to boil over and I've put it on the absolute lowest setting. All right, about five minutes later, uh, the rice is almost about done so I've added the vegetables and now I'm gonna add this canned chicken. It seems gross but in the end, the canned chicken, you can't even tell it's from a can. So I'm just gonna add this right in. All right, and I actually have drained off the water, the excess water in the can, just because I don't really want to be adding that to this. It's all personal preference. So I'm gonna let this simmer for about another five minutes-ish, and I'll catch you guys when this is done. It's just about done. I've just been stirring it this whole time, just to make sure there's nothing on the bottom that's gonna get burnt, because the jet boil does get very hot. What I'm gonna do now is just wait another like minute or so of stirring, and then I'm gonna drain off the excess water. And then I'll give you guys a little review of how it tastes. <sighs> all right. So what I've done is I've strained off all the excess water, waited about five minutes, and I've poured only about half of what I actually made into this bowl. So I'm not going to eat a whole lot right now. So we're going to give it a little taste and tell you what I think. It's still a little bit hot. I should have waited a little bit more but that's exactly what I wanted right now. A nice hot meal that tastes just like homemade. So in total, it only took me about, sorry, 15, 20 minutes to make. And honestly, it's perfect. It's way better than like a freeze dried, you know, from a bag, because this tastes exactly like homemade. I'd like to reiterate another little tip that I said before. You want to keep stirring it even when it's just the rice and the water when boiling because with the jet boil it gets really, really hot and you don't want anything sticking to the bottom and getting burnt on the bottom. So. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. Go ahead and share this with your friends. I had a lot of fun making this one. And if you want to see more like this, go ahead and let me know. Thanks. Have a great day.